selling in my babes. I'm selling in my babes. Welcome to a new vlog actually, like I've ended the last one, I am in Ghana guys, Ghana for the first time, woo woo, Hello. <laughs> see I don't want to be cringe, I'm just going to keep quiet because I haven't really mixed enough to start saying nonsense. First of all I just want to um, ask you guys to please pardon the audio, I forgot, I don't even say I forgot my microphone, like I saw it and I was like mmm. I don't need it, which is just a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry about that. So today is technically day one. I got in, uh, I got in what time? I got in 8 a.m. Uh, Nigerian time, 7 a.m. Ghana time. Ghana is an hour behind Nigeria, if you're not aware. And uh, yeah, it was really, really fast. Like, it was literally like I was, you know, traveling interstate, it's so close, like 45 minutes. I really haven't slept. I slept earlier, so when I got in, I just watched some TV and I slept. <sighs> I slept. I don't even think I slept that long, but I still feel tired. But one thing I said myself, like, see, you can't sleep in Lagos. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm really trying. As you guys see, I unpacked, I packed a lot. I feel like I packed a lot, but I just feel like, I, I actually packed outfits for the first time. I always like, you know, just have it in my head, but this time, every single thing like has an outfit and let's just see how you know the trip goes it's roughly a week six days so yeah i'm so scattered <laughs> i was just like i was so happy but at the same time i was so heartbroken for my country i was embarrassed because what is that i heard like you can tell a lot about a country by its airport Mm, not 100% understatement, but at least you know, like the airport is where people that don't know you for all maybe like be the first time they're coming in, and this is the impression. Nigeria airport is terrible, terrible. I actually used the new, the other, the new one to come to Ghana. It was quite nice, but mm -hmm. now I think Ghana is where I see your meats. Because when I was, I was like, oh my god, it's so cute. When I go into Ghana again, airport, it's like, yeah, yeah, we're we're just we're just we're just embarrassing at this point. It's it's it's, it's actually. Are you not ashamed? Wow. Anyway, Ghana, you guys are doing amazing. I'm not going too far around, but so far it's so cute. It actually reminds me of Enugu so much. I don't know why. Like the roads are like smaller. I saw like red soil. I was like, oh my god. And then the houses are when you live in Lagos for a while and you leave to other, even other states in Nigeria, you see how Lagos has so many big structures. So whenever like you know, I haven't been to Enugu in a while, but when I was there the last time. I saw, oh my god, like, I'm actually grew up in a small town, like, small town girl, because all the business are way smaller, you know, more miniature, that's how, that's the vibe I got here, and I'm actually loving it so far, hmm, kind of might be one of my frequent stops, because it's so far so good, and I haven't gone anywhere yet, I haven't gone to, like, you know, restaurants and stuff, so, I'll try and actually do my research, because I haven't, I've been talking for time, anyway, because I really haven't, um, searched up anything per se to do is so bad because it was such a last minute trip but now i i have looked and that's going to ginger me to be like okay where can i go where can i go and um yeah i'll definitely put up a question to ask about creators i just want to link up and maybe we can explore together okay i think i'll pick you guys up when i'm getting ready uh i can't remember the restaurant tonight i will let you guys know Hope you enjoy the vlog! Bye! <laughs> Hi guys! I 
I'm ready for my first night in Ghana. <laughs> Ghana, I just filmed a TikTok. Let me show you my dress. It's Maka. December thing like how many places did I go to? The first place was San Toku, which is like an Asian restaurant. Nice food. Love like when you get there, if like um, your table is not yet free, you have like a cute waiting spot outside. Outside was quite nice. There's also Wi-Fi here. Like restaurants offer you Wi-Fi, which is not that common in Lagos. Even San Toku, when we're outside, you don't even need like a password literally you just you know connect to the wi-fi and chill so i'm so cool guess yeah that was really nice uh then had dinner had sushi other things from santoku went to sky bar i love 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 sky bar the music was on point like i recorded so many videos because i was like i need to find this on soundcloud on these on my vlogs because it was like Maybe it'd be like a Beyonce song, but they'll put like an Afro beat, um, beat <laughs> to it, and it now sound like Afro beat. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense, but that's actually how I kind of know when something would not have like a copyright strike. So it was so nice. The vibe was lit. It's just very, I don't know, the very Western type vibe. Very, very nice. I really, really liked it. Like. It was really really cool. The view was amazing. We had the what do you call? Oh my god, what do you call when the road is? Is it flyovers? I can't remember when the road is on top of it. It was just really, really it was a beautiful view. I didn't really take my camera, so hopefully my phone I got some clips on that. It was really really nice. So I'm Skybar <laughs> went to number 10. This is what this is third location now. Number 10 was like a lounge side by have like pre-drinks. And then from number 10, didn't really stay long at number 10. From number 10 ended the night at front back, which is kind of like a Obi's house type vibe. That's like the best way I can explain it. It was like an Obi's house type vibe. It was full, full, full 
it was lit, it was nice. <laughs> it was so nice. I go home like 4 a.m., yeah, 4 ish. I was, I was so tired, and I, I drank at every spot, so it was just like, nah, Ghana is lit. <laughs> it was actually really nice. It was an amazing first night. Um, Saturday, which is today, I wanted to do more things, but I was just so tired. So I woke up one, and to be fair, it did rain, it's still raining. So that kind of like, I don't know, killed the vibe a little bit. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I'm gonna go out again tonight. Uh, so I was supposed to go out earlier, do something daytime, couldn't do it. So it's gonna be a nighttime thing again. I'm supposed to go to Kozo, cause literally when I was going to Ghana, everyone was like, oh yeah, go to Kozo, Kozo, Kozo. Kozo is nice, but like, no one mentioned all the places I went to, which are all, which are also equally nice. Um, yeah, meeting up with some people, I think, at a place called Shogun Shop? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what these names go there. Then go to Kozo. I don't know. My uncle got to get. I'm just trying to be. I just. I don't know. I, I don't see the whole vibe when people come to Lagos and want to go out every single night. Like, and I'm always like, yeah, I'm not doing that with you, but I get the vibe because I'm. I'm not here for a very long time. I'm gonna go out. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun. I want to experience all I can experience and within this short period of time. Yeah, my dress is quite loud, and I just realized that it's the same one hand design as yesterday. I don't know if I wear that if I wear the Maca blue dress, but the Maca blue dress is giving more daytime. Mm, so I don't know, but yeah, that's the plan. I just edited the first TikTok. I want to edit the unpacking one because I really took my time to film that. And I have my Maca live tomorrow, so that's work. I can just see you guys, but yeah, I had breakfast. I don't know if I should when when grocery shopping. So yeah, I have eggs, bacon, bread. I'm quite full. Ghana is expensive though. <laughs> it is. Well, maybe it's because of maybe the places I'm going to, because a lot of things are like they're really some prices are in dollars. I guess it's like the same in Lagos, but it it's not cheap. <laughs> So yeah, there's that. Just have that in mind if you're coming. Um, I feel like Santoku, uh, the bill was like, was it like three hundred dollars or so, something like that. Like when you change it, so it's not, it's not cheap. Which I guess is kind of like Cali slow vibe, but I feel like in Lagos they're different like levels. Like if you don't want to spend too I, too much, you know where to go, but it's still nice. Whereas here, when I'm being told, please don't come for me. <laughs> or if you look at me and tell me, it's like, mm, not as many options. And then the difference is kind of clear if you're not going to do very expensive ones. But yeah, you people in Ghana have money. <laughs> but yeah, that's really what it is. I just wanted to edit one more TikTok video. Try and sleep a bit because I'm still tired. And um, maybe start getting ready for tonight. Bye. Hi loves. Do you know this camera actually stopped working? I wanted to cry. I was just like, what? Because it fell down and I was giving you guys angles on the couch. I pushed it down after. But look, it's done. This red is really red. I don't really know if I'm gonna keep it, but I'm about to just wear my dress. I did a TikTok get ready with me. And yeah. Preferred this beat more than yesterday's beat, 100%. I did underpainting this time, and yeah, I think I'm just gonna stick with her from here on out. Just maybe you're 22 
tú, tú atajando, que lo van a hando, yo, comando pa' you, baby, y el 22, tú atajando, que lo van a hando, yo, comando pa' you, baby, 22 going on, 23, you look pretty up when you're fucking with me. I mean, you see, I'ma show you what it means to be La, fa, 22 going on, 23 You look pretty, yeah, when you're fucking with me I mean, you see, I'ma show you what it means to be La, fa, yeah, 22 Yeah, 22 Tu atajando, tu atajando Que la van a hando Hi guys, I am back home Just showered, about to do Care routine and go to bed. Yeah, yeah. So it's currently what? Almost 1 a.m. Uh, was nice. Like I said, guys, today it kind of rained. I'm using the fancy beauty blackhead. What's it called again? Watch your turn nice and my dark, yeah, dark spot serum. Tonight was a bit more chilled. It was a little bit more chilled. Oh, why am I not writing? It kind of rained all day to be fair. Yeah. Like drizzled, rained, so it kind of I don't know, you know when it rains. So even like outdoor at Kozo. It was alright, but it was like packed packed. But it was still excuse me. Using the uncover glow serum. I actually use this. We should have a live tomorrow. Come on. Push this as well. I actually use this guys like I will not push something I don't use. But yeah, so the vibe was more chill. Hung out with a couple of people. It was fun. I really haven't slept. I'm a bit tired, I can't even lie. And let me see if I can go to church tomorrow and all that. If I go out tonight, that's not gonna happen. So, just had a nice time at Kozo. I got a really nice picture, I really like my pictures. And I was like, yeah, you don't always have to overdo it every single night. I'm gonna I'm like, I don't like when there's no balance in things. Do you know what I'm like, yes, I'm looking to have fun, but it doesn't have to be back to back to back, right? So that is why I am home. But yeah, that's gonna be my nighttime skin routine. I think I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow because I'm really tired. Hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. No pressure because I when I was I was in Ghana, I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna vlog be so late, so late, so late. <laughs> I hope you're leaving up to your expectations. I'm so sorry.
Busted matches are set. My brother name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would've went corporate. She wish I would've went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect. What what meal were you recommend? What kind of meal would you recommend? I check it. What's that? You, you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. <laughs> I think it's cassava. Cassava. Okay, like fufu. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's Ghanaian. It's Ghanaian. Yeah, I think it's Ghanaian. You don't know what to do. Okay, okay. I'll change it to fufu. But I have fufu. Oh, you did. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's Ghanaian. It's Ghanaian. Well, okay. I'll change my name. <laughs> we have plantain and beans. Okay, then food. Okay, then food. Food and what? Goat soup. Goat soup. Okay, like, okay. What would you recommend? Mm -hmm. A Ghanaian meal, I should try. Yum. You eat yam, like. like yeah. Bald yam. Yeah, bald yam and like garden egg food. Garden egg food. Okay. Like garden egg itself. Yeah. Is it still red or? Yes, they have one that like they make the they grind with everything and they put like palm oil on like this, the onion, and like egg, like bulk egg. What's yeah. it called? Just that is it. Yeah. Okay, do you? <laughs> Banku. Oh yeah, what's that? I've heard about. What's that? Banku and Oko. What's Banku itself? Is that what you ask? Is that what you want? You want to see? No, that's it. Okay. Two sprinters to Quebec, Shelly, Ooh, and Mon Beck. They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it get, hey. 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 She want me to play with that cat, hey. You know how I'm making no way, hey. You know how sticky it get, hey. Hi guys, good morning. It's literally, I think it's six thirty. I'm so tired. So this is day four in Ghana. I had like three hours of sleep. I'm going to do some touristy activities, like real touristy activities. You know, Ghana's history. I'm going to. Okay, so I have my back. So today I'm going to Cocoon National Park and Cape Coast Castle. I really wanted to go to Cape Coast Castle. That's kind of like where they sold slaves. <laughs> and where some of the slaves were before they were shipped off, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna get my, my facts right. So this was kindly um, taken care of by Sorted Chalet. We offer travel experiences in Ghana and even outside Ghana. More details on that later on, but yeah, check them out. So far, so good. They are hooking your girl up. So maybe if you plan on coming to Ghana in December, you know, when it's really, really popular, make sure you get them up there. Quite really, really good. So they're helping me with the driver. They almost hit us so while I'm up so early. Currently six. Oh, yeah, she told me six was best, but I was like, please, 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 can we do seven? Because <laughs> you guys know I went out yesterday. So um, the driver is coming out. I actually made a friend, Matilda. I haven't met her yet, but you guys probably know her. She makes amazing content on TikTok and YouTube. I'm gonna meet her. I don't know if today or tomorrow. Mm, she told me that it's like a three-hour drive. Because it's a completely different region, so yeah. So I showered like three hours ago, so I'm just gonna brush my teeth, see if I can do a little bit of makeup for pics. <laughs> and yeah, I'm so tired. <sighs> but this is kind of like how it was in Morocco when I had to get up at seven. And you just have to wake up early if you're trying to do all this like tourist stuff anywhere, so. Of the program. Alright, guys, 
guys, this is Yandy. This is the tall guy for today. Yandy, do you want to say hi to them? Hi. <laughs> hi, I didn't get your own name. I'm Malik. Malik, okay. Yeah, he's been our driver, our able driver for a very long time. Oh, wow. So, that's so we're in good hands. Yay. It's a very long trip, so. I heard. I didn't know. Is it three hours? <laughs> I hope you are all ready. Set for the top. Are you ready? Yeah. Hectares is about 36,000 hectares and it's a home for all global and dangerous species. We have snakes, we have porcupines, we have pangolins. We don't have lions here, we don't have tigers here. And per research, we have nearly about 300 species of birds here and 600 species of butterflies here. So apart from the canopy walk, we also have other activities like the nature walk or hiking. That, that's why I'm not like freaking out because if I start thinking, I will literally freeze and everyone will turn back. Hi what? guys, <laughs> can we move? Hey, hey, land. Last one. Last thing you really want, just 110 meters. Mm -hmm. Bruh, guys, I'm sweating. I don't know why I do this to myself. I didn't cry. I so I'm sweating at my. Saddam is the first crocodile, 48 years old. Wow. So when we walk down there, we are going to see Saddam and how to identify Saddam, who is the biggest crocodile we have here. And black in nature is a male crocodile. The males are black and the females are brown. Mm. So far, we have 19 crocodiles while they move right inside this lake in the shallow pond behind them. 
This species is another aggressive type. If you have been to the Paga Pond, this is now talk about. <laughs> Now this entire courtyard is the most lame courtyard. All the rooms on the ground floor were used as dungeons for the men. For 600 men to shed among the dungeons of working shipments. Some of the dungeons were resident for the working listener. Used to weigh about 25 kg, so this one still weighs about 25 kg, equivalent to 50 pounds. So once she refused, she will be chained to the cannonball. In the scorching sun and rains, she will be made to stand in it just to put three among the others in the tank. So when you are picked, you have no option out. The same punishment will be subject to. It's our original floor that they were sleeping, lying, defecating, urinating, vomiting. As a result of the unhygienic conditions in the dungeons, it affected the mortality rate. Now those who died were taken up and drawn into the ocean. At that time, the dogs were locked to the cave. This is the bedroom for the governor and the living rooms are here. As compared to the dungeons, where can we have split and suffered? Can you see the difference of where they live? Where are they? hi guys good morning Woo. today is tuesday yesterday was a lot i didn't even oh my god i think the iron is on should i iron while talking to you guys that's different so my camera falls down again yeah so guys yesterday was so much fun but it was so journey like I went to the kakuma park first and that's where do you think i had no idea what i was doing because my mind was on cape coast um, castle. So I didn't know I was going to go on that canopy walk thing. I didn't realize. <laughs> Even me bringing in trainers, I was just like, oh, maybe this is a park, maybe like trainers would be better. So I just brought it in, shoot in case. <laughs> I know you've already seen the footage. I I had to, I didn't realize that I'm really, really good at zoning out. I just zoned out, like I, I turned off because if I made myself like really present, I would freeze on that. And it's not my first time. I went to the one in, I went to Lekki Conservation, was it last year? And that one was terrible, I can't even lie, that one was worse. <laughs> I think the one in Lagos is the longest one, so it's just so long. Yandi was just laughing at me, like, Yandi was a tour guide for yesterday. He was just laughing, it's just like, there are no casualties, I'm like, 
Don't mention. What are you telling someone that no casualties? What well, I'm telling you, I'm scared of heights. <laughs> So it was it was honestly hilarious now we came back then it was not hilarious uh yeah because people would just be walking through that thing like nothing people are really different not me then we went to the crocodiles and stuff <laughs> <laughs> that one uh i i was just like i can't see we don't do this what, I went to africa to do this but this is, i feel like i just needed to touch it so it was really really fun and we now ended it with Cape Coast Castle, which is a bit morbid because they tell you the story and it's just like, wow, these walls I'm actually passing through. People that looked like me were actually kept in these places and they were tortured. Yo, it was, it was so dark. Going through it, you just, you just, you just, you can't help but imagine just being stopped there. And like, what's the difference between us and them? Lock and the fact that we're not born then, so it was, it was it was really crazy, and the fact that there was a church on top of those places. I can't lie, I see why like you know some people. This might be controversial, but Christianity sometimes needs to be a little bit sus because these people that did all these horrible things also broke Christianity. So like I don't blame you know the people who would never be Christians because like how can you serve the religion that did all these things to us while still suffering? from their impact. We okay, one of the dungeons where they kept the sleeve, like poor ventilation, this is where they poop, they sleep, they breathe, not much air. A church was right above it. And sometimes they had a hole where if the pastor was feeling, you know, good, would throw food in there. I'm just like, what? You know? I'm just like, why not even into it more than them sometimes? I'm just like, no. I love God, shall Yeah, so ended up on a heavy note, but it was still fun. Got back around like eight or so. Another thing I found really interesting was like Ghana doesn't do states, they do regions. So how we have like different states in Nigeria, they don't do states here. But it's kind of like the same thing, but they just called it as regions, I guess. So we went to the Cape Coast region, if I'm not mistaken. And I was so tired. I've slept before 12 a.m. Let's show you how tired I was. We're an hour behind Nigeria. But I feel like my body clock is still Nigerian, so I get tired an hour faster. <laughs> but yeah, today is my last full day. I leave tomorrow. I'm going to be meeting up with Matilda. Matilda, not Matilda. Right? You know, if you guys, because I said all oh, tag your Ghanaian creatures and 90% tag her. I was like, and I just, I fell in love. I fell in love <laughs> on TikTok. I was going to meet up today. I, we just spoke on the phone. So we'll, we'll figure that out, shall. And then in the evening, I'm meeting up with my boss. <laughs> my boss slash mentor. <laughs> I don't know if she watches this, but yeah. I'm meeting up with her this evening at, um, is it Bella Afrique or Bella Freak? I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, that's the update. I know I haven't been speaking too much, but hopefully it's still fun. I'm having a really good time in Accra. Definitely will not be my last. Um, I heard we have a new president back home. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah. Any more updates, I will let y'all know. Bye. If you're still watching, thumbs up, please. Thumbs up. Share to your stories. All that good stuff. Subscribe. Subscribe. Bye. <laughs>
Mixed seafood grill, super nice. I really suggest that. Lamb is too is from um, Italy. Uh, the meat is from South Africa, so it's a very interesting menu. What well, is it alcoholic? Well, a little bit. Cheers, guys. Salute. Happy day, every day. for a spam I walked earlier just saw the place like the surrounding or whatever it's quite nice homey type vibe I'm in my swimsuit right now it's a yeah it's quite hot so why not Thank you for wanting a verse from me. Apologies for the wait. Sometimes it's hard to get the distractions off you. Hi guys, it's much later. I'm all packed up. So my flight was actually delayed to 8 p.m. from 6 p.m. So yeah, it's been a pretty chill day. So because of that delay, I thought it was possible to actually go for pizza making class. I met Claudio yesterday at Bella Freak, so he's the owner of Bella Freak and he said they actually do pizza, Italian pizza um, classes, so yeah, that's what I'm on my way to do and from there I will come back and start heading to the airport. The Ghanaian airport is literally like in the center of the city, so yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Ciao Belle, welcome to Bella Freak and today we're gonna make a super amazing pizza okay. with Tamsi. Yeah, let's go. It's okay. gonna be super amazing. And next is with you. Come to Bella Freak. Yeah, yeah, with you. It is your knife. So I have slices like this. Slices for one finger. Voila. Now we put some flour, we just press it. Voila, you're doing a great job, darling. Let me see. Start from the middle and just slowly, like you go out. Okay. So you create some sort of uh, spaces in between. You like parmigiano? Yeah. The stick, that's how I do it. Your hand, yeah, relax your shoulder. Not yet, it's not ready yet. Here, bring it, bring it, and put it on that board. I lift it. There you go. Mamma mia. And this is your pizza, darling. Hold on, a moment of, uh, of excitement. Brava! I'll show you how to cut it. Let me give you a slice. 
che giù we have different sides, we have peperoni, we have um, capicollo, salame milano. It's mozzarella and double cream. Voilà, you happy with it? Parmigiano again because it's a must. There you go, that's it. Show it to the world, here. I mean, you, as your for first pizza, I think... Mmm, mm. brava! Fresh mozzarella, fresh stracciatella. The salami is from Italy, the dough handmade with his hands. Woo. US pizza chef in the building. To drop my panza. got delayed, it was already delayed, it was supposed to be about 6, they moved it to 8, and now they said it's another delay of an hour and a half, so that's like 9.30, so I'm probably going to be in Lagos like midnight, it was actually my first time ever being like that late into Lagos. Yeah. 